Hi, this is James Cook of the University of Maine at Augusta, and in this video we're going to talk very briefly, but very effectively, about how to install R, a really cool, absolutely free program that can engage in almost any kind of research and analysis project you might have in mind, uh, particularly for the social sciences, as I'm interested uh, in. So let's get started. Uh, bring up a web browser, and to find uh, uh, R, all you really need to do is type in uh, r-project.org. When you visit that website, you're going to find a lot of text, and it's going to say a lot of things, but the thing I want you to look for is a link. That link says, download R, click that and it's going to take you to an, another confusing looking page, but it's really not that bad because all it's doing is it's saying, hey, find a place near you to download R because you can download R from all sorts of places around the world for absolutely free, but you want to do it cheaply. So um, let's not send our, our bits and bytes all the way across the world. Let's go close. So in my case, I'm going to go to the United States and oh, why don't I pick uh, Dayton, Ohio or Oregon State University, one of the two. Why do, how about Dayton, Ohio? And I'm, so I'm going to click that link. And it's going to take me to a download page. And you'll notice that there are three download links. One for Windows, one for OS X, which means Apple or Macintosh, and one for Linux. So you can run this on just about any of uh, the three major types of popular computers that are out there. R on an iPhone? No, sorry, not yet. Um, you really need an actual computer to work uh, with R. So I have a Windows computer, so I'm going to click uh, download R for Windows. Uh, but uh, it, it, it's actually true that you can pretty reasonably install uh, any of these uh, quite easily. So, oh my, now it's taking to a whole set of possibilities uh, but there's a nice bolded set of text. It says, this is what you want to install R for the first time. What? Base. So let's do that. Let's download R base. It means just the basic uh, R setup. So if I click on that, uh, here I go. And I'm downloading and using the most recent version of R. So I'm clicking on that, and you'll notice that it is now downloading a file. Okay, uh, that's going to take a little while for me to download because it's 70.2 megabytes, but um, uh, it won't take me that long, and I'll get back in touch with you as soon as we finish downloading. And so it's downloaded now. We are ready to continue. We're just simply going to click on that file, or you can find it in your downloads folder, and it's going to open. We're going to say, yes, we want to allow changes to be made. We'll install in English. You have your choice of language. Click Next, and we have a place to put it. We're just going to go through all these options, and we'll accept the defaults, and we'll install it in a folder called R. A desktop icon is a nice thing to do, so you can always find it to launch it. And look at these split. It's installing. Not so bad, huh? Pretty quick. Um, and then once you have that installed, the next thing to do will be to run R. R will run similarly on a Macintosh, uh, a Windows, or a Linux computer. So although I'll be running it on Windows, it should look pretty similar. Um, regardless of, 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 of what platform you're running it on. So let's finish. And we're going to run R. And there it is. In the next video, we'll be talking about this console and something else called scripts.